Chad Walsh. When did you start wrestling without the kitchen sink being thrown? Smart wrestling like that, man. I'm not used to it. I'm used to the kitchen sink. Well, you know what? He tried to hip toss you to start there, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he did. <laughs> and your reaction was very not Chad Walsh. Very not Walsh-like. It looked like uh, I was the guy that's getting Chad Walsh. Yeah, it was a little odd there, but he... Uh, he came out swinging, you know. It was definitely a lot of exchanges, but nothing really happened in that first. So it was uh, a weird match, and I think the first period felt a lot like the first period of the first time we wrestled. But um, I think I just, you know, didn't really come out of position this time. I, that was the mistake I made last time was, you know, I started trying to go for some of the stuff that I like to do, and it was just, you know, against a solid guy like that, he was a lot shorter than me. He just shot right under me, scored a couple takedowns. That's how I lost. So staying in position was the difference for that one. He beat you with just solid stuff, like we just said. The 8-4 eight, eight, in the duel, yeah. you know, dominated you and just finished everything quick, didn't let you kind of hang around. Today, do you realize what won for you? One second was the difference. Yeah. One minute of riding time, which yeah. you earned, and there was no controversy. They right. were challenged, right? Right, right? They want their guy to win. Yeah, sure. You know, wrestling smart like that, almost like that Tommy Gant match in 2016. That was like your first real match management I saw out of you. Yeah. How are these guys coaching you differently? What are they saying to you? How are they getting you to throw less kitchen sinks out? Yeah, I think, um, you know, it, it's hard. It's, it's been a balance of the, the things that I have and being able to, you know, go out and score a lot of points, but also not giving up points. So, you know, I've been working on that happy medium and, you know, really feeling myself on that level. But uh, I think for that match in particular, I actually talked to Coach Taylor a lot. He was the one that was in my ear, you know, coming in the room kind of different times, and he was telling me, you know, you gotta you gotta be willing to win the overtime match against him. You gotta be willing to win by one point. So that was kind of the difference for for today. A little bit more of a game plan. Tons of people are gonna be sleeping on you. You lose one match. You drop like it was crazy. You dropped out of the top ten, I want to say, in the ranking. Yeah, yeah, it was crazy, do. right? <laughs> yeah. I'm like this. Guy, he he kills Wanzek, <laughs> but then he loses a tough match to a really good guy, and right. they drop him the ninth or something. It was crazy like that, right? It was. It might have been eighth actually, yeah, yeah. but. <laughs> When you look at that, and you know you got little air, right? And you know that they're probably going to see just somewhere weird, 5'10 area. Yeah, whatever. Doesn't matter to you. No. I, like I said, uh, I think I said it to you last time, is I got to beat those guys. Whoever's in front of me, I got to beat, you know? So it's going to be me wrestling tough like that through a whole seven minutes. And like you said, managing the match. So I think that's really going to be my game plan is just going into every match, not with a strategy necessarily, but just with a mentality that I'm not giving up any, any cheap points. And whenever my stuff's there, if I can open up, I'm going to go with it. And I think that's one thing I was a little hesitate, uh, has a something he hesitational tonight. And, uh, you know, that's something that's got to change a little bit because I felt like I, you know, stayed in good position. But there was, there was times I could have scored. And, you know, I, I want to score points. So a little, little bit of uh, minor adjustments there, and I, I really feel good about the way I'm wrestling right now. You guys, a bunch of fifth-year seniors, just lost some of the toughest matches I've ever seen. Guys you came in with, uh, you know, BJ loses a tough one there. The Shomers, which was second. You know, Dippery loses a tough match. Ibrahim, uh, yeah. Benduka knocks off JR. We're just crazy stuff across the board for your program right there. They all got to wait for wild cards now. What do you say to those guys? And, you know, it's very individual at this point, but it's very, very also much a team sport. What do you say to your, your teammates? I don't know if you live with the guys, you know what I mean? Like, do, yeah. that's tough, right? Yeah. I'm really at a loss for words for that right now. You know, it's something that it's going to be a long bus ride home tonight for those guys, but for me too. I, you know, I love these guys, and you know, I'll be thinking the whole time about what I want to say to them. I give them some time to kind of cool down and figure themselves out a little bit. But you know, you just hope that the work that they put in this year, the matches that they won, the chances that they give themselves. You know, today didn't go good at all. You know, we we came in with high expectations for this tournament and. Not only did we not come close to winning it, the last round, like you said, was the one of the scariest, ugly things I ever had to watch right there. So it'll be on my mind, and you know, I just I hope to have those guys there with me at nationals because they're they've been uh, working with me nonstop for you know Dippery for one year, but for those other guys, five years straight. You know, they've been my brothers, so I just hope they're there with me. It's hard. All right, man. You guys got a long bus ride home. You got anything else for me? No, I'll see you in Cleveland, Zeb. I appreciate you, man. Are the junkyard dogs here? <laughs> no, they're not. What are they? Jersey? My dad. My dad's a psycho. He's got a guy in the New Jersey State Finals tomorrow. He had a guy wrestling, and a couple guys in the quarters. My brother was one match away from placing today, so I'm sad about that too. But uh, 
he, uh, he said he's going to try to make it. And I said, Dad, do not come to Erie. You better stay the hell in Atlantic City and coach your guys. So he would try, but I didn't let him. <laughs> all right, man. Good luck to you, and I'll see you in Cleveland, all right? Thank you.